Welcome back. In this video I'll just finish uh, painting the main frame and before putting the gearbox in. So this is a look underneath. Gave it two or three coats of a epoxy enamel in a gloss black and as you can see it's come up really well. So I first painted underneath, let it dry, I flipped it over before finishing the other side and um, here it is as uh, you can see it's turned out awesome. So I bought it inside, ready for the install of the rear gearbox. And the gearbox, as I've mentioned before, is out of an Audi A2, and they're also in VWs. And I've tidied it up here. The LSD's fitted, and it looks like it's a brand new unit. Um, it's five-speed with reverse, obviously, and the shaft sticking out there is for the mower drive. Um, you can see the chain drive in there as well, so it's just the direct chain drive from the motorbike engine and the clutch is on the motorbike engine not in uh, the gearbox so just installing it here it's quite a neat fit and uh, what I'll do is just explain a bit of uh, the reasoning behind this gearbox originally I had a solid shaft and uh, once I started to build it and you'll see in earlier videos I quickly realized that it just wasn't going to steer properly so at that point I figured that I'd need to either have one wheel driving or come up with something else and uh, one of the things I wanted was to be able to reverse as well. Um, the rear end from the mower was just pretty crappy. The axles weren't big enough really for what I wanted to do so I started looking at gearboxes out of cars so like this one and what this allowed me was uh, firstly I had reverse Secondly, I've ended up with an LSD so I can drift. And thirdly, I don't have to worry about gear ratios because I've got six gears on the motorbike engine and I've got another five here. So pretty much the gear selector is the same. You can see um, down here, this is, hopefully you can see that, it's out of an Audi or VW. Uh, a lot of these gearboxes are similar, but it's from a front wheel drive car. And then in here, uh, this is the electric clutch. So what I've done, I've put a plate, which hopefully you can see in here, and uh, converted this into a chain drive. So there's no clutch, so it's just a tra chain drive. And then I've added this plate with a bearing housing because you don't want to pull uh, too much tension on the shaft straight out of the gearbox. It needs to be held on both sides. And then on the other side of that, is where the V-belt is and it's obviously electric so it's no problem. Uh, I put this tensioner, tensioner is out of, a, out of a Commodore, got quite a bit of tension on it. I've also got a bolt here which what this does is um, limits the maximum tension because you need a bit of slack in the chain otherwise what will happen is it won't change gears properly because the slack allows a bit of movement between the gears for it to mesh in properly. Um, I'll put the chain in after, but the chain run, runs along here, and then in here is where I've got a jack shaft. And then over this side is uh, where the chain drive comes from the motorbike engine. And the motorbike engine is obviously uh, what the clutch pedal runs from. Five gears and reverse. Uh, works awesome. So, you know, this is... Uh, capable of a lot more power than this engine's putting out so as it turns out I can actually change uh, gears on this while I'm moving so uh, generally I would select the gear here depending on what I'm doing so if I want to uh, tow or mow the lawn I might have this in first or second gear and then I'll use the motorbike gears to give me the range I want so let's say first gear on this will give me a range of zero kilometers an hour to maybe 10 or 15. If I want to go a bit faster, I'd start off in second gear. A way up to fifth is I don't know what top speed is. It might be um, 80 or 90 k's. Don't know. Uh, if I wanted more speed, I could just change the uh, sprocket size to give me higher end ratios. But you know, at the end of the day, I haven't built this as a race mile. I've built this as a uh, something practical that I can use uh, around the yard and have a bit of fun in at the same time if I want to. And that's the other thing, I don't need to mess with ratios, I'll just simply change gears. Um, I'll go through the brake system in another video, but the fit here is fit awesome. 
and remembering that I've basically freestyled the design of this. So if you look in an earlier video, I um, I did have to redo the frame to get this to fit properly. And I basically just designed it as I went along. So I had the gearbox in and then after I figured out how I was gonna do the axles and the brakes and all that. So I'll go through that in separate videos, but it's been a fair few questions about the gearbox and why you would possibly want something like this. So there you go. This, these two axles were originally a solid axle before I decided to put this uh, gearbox in. So I cut it, welded it, uh, put the disc on, and you can see how I did that in a previous video. I think, I can't remember what part of this, but fairly early on. These are the CV joints uh, that came with the gearbox originally, and obviously this disc is not. So what I've got is got one disc up front at the back, on this axle, so it's only um, braking on one side, but given it's LSD, it'll brake on both sides. And this one is just the drive shaft. And I've got two, I put two more discs on the front. So I've got two discs on the front wheels, one on the rear, and I've got a dual uh, hydraulic master cylinder. So I might do a bit more on the brakes in a later video, but um, uh, after this, I'll next step will be putting these axles in putting the rear wheels back on and then I'll paint the front suspension and do a separate video for that so you can see the front suspension and how the steering works. Stay tuned.